Hey guys, uh, so in the previous video of this series, so we completed the TV typewriter, which is actually sitting right here on top of the Mark 8 computer, and tested it out and found that it was actually working correctly. Um, in this video, I actually want to connect it to the Mark 8 computer uh, as an output device, basically a display. And that's exactly how uh, John Titus um, did it with his computer, uh, the Mark 8 that he created. And he outlines it in the Radio Electronics Magazine. I actually have it. The Radio Electronics Magazine is actually right there behind the TV typewriter. But I created this handy dandy uh, manual for the Mark 8, which contains the uh, construction manual for the Mark 8 computer. So let's go ahead and find that uh, page where John actually describes how we can actually connect the Mark 8 computer to the TV typewriter and it's actually on page 5 right here and as we can see it's really just a direct connection from uh, the Mark Case output port to the TV typewriter input connections and the one thing that we need to do is uh, so the strobe from the output port by the way there's a strobe only on output ports A and B so we have to use one of those so the strobe from the output port uh, from the Mark 8 will go into pin 1 of the 74123 uh, monostable and this will stretch the pulse width uh, slightly and pin 4 of it is the output of it and that will actually feed into the TV typewriter's key pressed um, input which right now is actually being fed with the TV typewriter's keyboard. Uh, there is a slight modification uh, that needs to be done on the TV typewriter for this to work and it actually states it right here in the Mark 8 um, construction manual. So C17 uh, figure 8 uh, will need to be removed and that is actually the cursor uh, schematic. So here's the schematic for the TV typewriter and I think it says C17 which is right here. This 10 microfarads will need to be removed so we can cut the trace for that for the time being. I actually think on the uh, the silk screen of the PCBs, uh, it's actually C16, not C17. Uh, so a slight mistake. And I actually went ahead and uh, removed the capacitor. So TV typewriter is actually ready uh, to receive input from the market computer. And I hooked it up directly as, it, as the construction manual outlined. And I think we are ready to actually output data from the market computer into the TV typewriter and display it on the screen. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Okay, so I got the market computer uh, turned on and also the TV typewriter. So as we can see right here, the display is showing up correctly. You might notice that there's a slight wobble on the screen and that's actually related to the uh, market computer running. So if we move it away a little bit, the wobble will go away. So there's some kind of interference going on there. It might be related to the fan, but I'm not 100% sure. So the first thing I want to do is actually verify that we can actually output data from the market computer into the TV typewriter. And we can do it by running a simple program. And let me just go to my software section of the manual right here. And I have a couple of software examples here, uh, which, by the way, you can find on uh, the GitHub page for the market reproduction uh, repository. And we'll actually input this piece of software right here um, into the market. And this will actually output all of the ASCII characters uh, to the TV typewriter. But the, the one thing that you might notice is that the TV typewriter doesn't actually support all the ASCII characters. So we're going to see a lot of blanks uh, being displayed. And that's fine. This is just a simple program to, uh, to see if it actually works. So let me go ahead and enter it into the Mark 8 computer and try to run it. Before we run the program, uh, let me clear the screen. Okay, let's uh, uh, toggle the interrupt switch. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we're seeing a lot of blanks and then uh, it starts printing characters out. And you might notice that the characters are actually being repeated and that is because the TV typewriter is a little bit too slow to accept the characters that are coming in. And we can actually increase the uh, delay on the program and actually specifies it here on the uh, software. 
uh, to prevent those duplicates from showing up. Okay, so we know that we can actually display data from the Marque computer on the screen here using the TV typewriter, so that's good. A aside from the fact that it's printing duplicate characters. I'm not too concerned about that, but I think it's just a, a delay uh, issue. I need to change the delay or something. Let me try a, a different piece of code, and this one it will actually uh, allow us to enter data into the computer and display what we uh, type on the screen. And I'm actually going to use a keyboard that you probably saw me use in a previous video, and it's right here. And it's really just an ASCII parallel uh, keyboard that has a serial, I mean, parallel port output. Um, and it's connected directly to an import port of the market computer. And the software that I'm going to use is right here. And again, you can find this on the uh, market reproduction GitHub repository. So let me go ahead and enter it in. And uh, um, this might take some time, so I might do it off screen. Okay, just finished entering it in. Let me clear the screen and run the program. Let's uh, type something in. All right, so I just typed in hello, period, space, Perfect. So we can actually type stuff on our external keyboard that goes to the Marcate and actually out, then outputs it to the TV typewriter. And additionally, uh, it's actually uh, saving um, each character that we type into memory. Uh, so we can actually examine it right now, but let me uh, make it a little bit easier and uh, clear the uh, reset the program. So I reset it and uh, I, I'm going to press A, B, C and we can verify that it's actually storing the correct code in memory. So A, B, C. And now we can verify the program contents. And it's stored in memory address uh, high is 0, 0, uh, 0 and low is 100. Okay, so at uh, low address uh, 100, we can see that the ASCII code is uh, 0, 1, and then uh, five zeros and a 1. And I know that, that that's actually an A in ASCII. So let me examine the next one. And it goes to the next uh, value, which is uh, a B. And increments to C. So it's actually storing the correct uh, characters in, in memory. So the program appears to be working and we're actually outputting the correct uh, characters on the screen. There's one last thing that I want to do and I think it will actually make the Mark K computer uh, very useful. I, I guess in terms of uh, 1970s uh, usefulness. But the program that I want to enter, which I, I have here in my little manual, it's uh, and also again it's on the github page github repo and this program what, what it's going to do is basically output the contents of the mark memory on the screen so we'll see uh, every memory i guess you'll, you'll see the memory address and then the contents of every position in in each memory uh, location and it'll just kind of loop through it showing all the uh, uh, values so let me go ahead and enter it in and, and then run it Okay, so I just uh, entered the program into the market computer, uh, toggled it in, and I actually did it off screen because it, it is sort of a long program here, and uh, just toggling them in on the switches is a little time consuming. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, run it. Awesome. Yeah, so it's printing the memory contents of the computer. Uh, so first we see the memory address, it, it starts at 000, 
and, and it shows eight bytes and then it goes to 008 and then 0010, 0018 and so on. And we can see that the first one is 2E and that's exactly what the first uh, instruction here is on our program which is 056 which is 2E and then it's 00, and then 066 is uh, 36. So yeah, it's uh, showing the correct uh, uh, memory contents. And this will just loop uh, forever, I guess. It'll just repeat from the top. So here at the top it's showing uh, memory address 0080. And it will actually repeat this until it, it gets to the end of the low address of 00FF. And then it'll actually go to, uh, well, it'll reset the low address to 0 and increment the high address so it'll loop through all the memory uh, locations in the market computer as many as as uh, the max memory locations as it can have and then actually when it, once it gets to the uh, memory address FFFF it will actually reset it again and start from zero again and loop again so yeah this is actually a, a pretty cool and it might be a useful uh, program to execute to basically view all the memory contents of the market computer well i hope you've enjoyed watching this video and uh, if you did find this video interesting uh, please click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe since uh, there's a couple of videos that are coming up soon uh, regarding the Marcade, um, I'm going to show you how, how we can actually load programs much quicker into it and also some other peripherals that I'm going to add to the Marcade. Additionally, there is another uh, device that I'll be working on soon, uh, which is coming up. So, uh, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of the show.